guys, welcome back to Sunday Fun Day with Miss Andrea. I hope you're doing very well. Um, today, we're going to make my favorite animal, which is a squirrel. So, but we're going to make him fancy, right? So I sent you guys home with this silhouette. We're going to, oh wait, let me cut myself off. You're going to get home the squirrel, a bag of acorns, a canvas, and a black crayon. What you need to provide though is scissors, a pencil, and I would get a hot glue gun after all this time. You guys might have one already. If not, um, my supervisor said they're about a dollar at the dollar store, which is pretty cool. Um, so just to lay that out there. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna move this to the side. It's heating up right now. Don't forget to unplug it when you use it. I'm going to cut this little guy out, then we're going to sketch him onto the canvas, and then on the canvas, color him in with the crayon, and then we're going to hot glue the acorns on to cover his body. So if you don't feel like coloring him, you don't have to. It's just, if there's a little bit of um, room where maybe the acorns won't exactly match up, it gives it a little color other than white behind it but you could have an albino squirrel totally up to you i'm gonna color mine in so yeah we feed the squirrels in the backyard we haven't seen them in a while because when the cicadas come came we didn't want them falling on our head so <laughs> we kind of stopped feeding them for a while plus it was summer you know, in the winter though, we're starting to put out bird food. So really we were feeding birds and, you know, it just, it looks so pretty because we get cardinals in our backyard. So when it snows and you have the red cardinals and squirrels running around, it's like a little winter wonderland. So now I'm going to take my guy and stencil them on. So just make sure that his whole body is on the canvas because it's a pretty tight squeeze. Take your time with that process because, you know, this is your, your foundation. So once you do this part, you're good to go. I'm just gonna start wherever. Use a pencil. Especially since you're drawing on canvas, um, it's a little bumpy. You know what this feels like? Pushing a shopping cart through the Target parking lot. <laughs> it's bumpy. <laughs> right? Parent. <laughs> All right. But seriously, take your time with this part. Because like I said, it's your foundation. So my hand might be blocking you, but I'm just using it to hold it down so it's not shifting. All right, so you guys do that too. So like now I'm gonna move it down here. Now this pencil doesn't have a great eraser, so make sure your pencil either has an eraser or if you want to grab an eraser, you know you guys can always pause me and I'll be here when you get back. Let's see. Alright, that's not bad. So I'll fill in here. I have this stray mark here. Let's see, how's this eraser? It's actually not terrible. But it is smudging. So just, again, take your time. 
once you have the acorns on, it won't be as noticeable. It won't just be white background. Now see here, I must have drawn on the paper rather than here. So we just look at our silhouette and finish the design. See? Same thing here. Look at your silhouette so you have the right shape. Finish the design. All right. I think that came out pretty good. That's the biggest mess up. If you have a better eraser, that would be good. All right, so now I'm gonna color him in black so he's like a silhouette. So once I'm done with that, I'll be back. So I colored in my little guy. I think it came out nice. Be careful not to touch the crayon because if it gets on your hands and then you touch the white background, you know, it won't look good. You guys can always, I mean, it's supposed to look very simple and you'll see why once we have the acorns on. But if you want to color the background, I mean, it's, it's your project, right? Um, so what you might want to do, just, well, some pointers first. For the small ones, like the feet, use a small acorn, right? And then you could use your bigger acorns for the middle. I had actually unplugged my um, hot glue gun because it took a while to sketch it and to color it in. So, there's that. So yeah, I would use like the really big ones for the tail. Now we did like a practice lay, lay over and I gave you 72 acorns. They should fit. You know, if not, that's why we drew it in black. So in case there's like a little bit of space, it's okay. Because, you know, obviously they're not gonna fit together absolutely perfectly, they're acorns. All right, let's see. My glue gun's pretty good. All right. There we go. So now, since this is such a small spot, I don't want you burning your fingers. So what I would do, or what I want you to do, is put the glue on the canvas. Right? It's clear glue, and then you could push from the top and just make sure it's an edge that gets onto the glue, right? Because otherwise it's going to come off. Safety first, right? And then we'll put like, like that one is the exact size of the ear. So we could do kind of like around the ear. Right? Like you know it's a circle. You know not to put it in the middle and then just line up the sides. See? And then like for the nose, we have little ones. And then if there's a piece on the acorn, now these aren't from outside. These are from Amazon, so you nice and clean. But you can pull like that off, like I didn't want the wood stick on there. Um, so yeah, here you go. Full circle. That's how, that's how I would do. Circle, because the middle isn't going to get filled in with glue, it's too high up. And then line up the sides with it. I wouldn't put it on the acorn because between holding the acorn and gluing, and then having to flip it over, and then if it slides a little bit, your hand's gonna go straight to hot glue. All right, I'm gonna keep going with this, and I'll show you guys at the end. All right, take your time with it. It's supposed to be nice and relaxing, right? And just fun. Oh, one more thing though. Um, just so I don't forget. If you want, you could also get like a $2 frame or something like that. Um, it's an, It should be an eight by 10 size. You know, if you want to measure, that's fine. Um, only because if you have animals, just in case these fall off, you don't want them eating these. So if you want to put it in a little frame or on a bookshelf or even just in a room that like if you have a dog they might not go in like your bedroom something like that we don't want you know 
any dogs eating a thing of acorn because they might not even fall off of this. They might just sit there, get this, and chew them off. <laughs> this comes from experience. We had a dog that my brother did a rock project, and the dog ate the rocks off of the project, and I think she needed surgery, the whole nine yards. All right, these aren't as bad as rocks, obviously, but you know, $2 frame, better than a vet visit. <laughs> All right. Just, just some advice, you don't have to take it. Um, I'm gonna finish putting on my acorns and I will be back. Okay, so it's all finished. Um, there was some maneuvering going on, right, to try to fit them, but it actually was um, not as bad as I thought. As long as you just mind, um, you know, where the small ones should go, where the big ones should go. So obviously, you know, a lot of the big ones went where the tail is. And the smaller ones I saved for here and the end of the tail. I think it came out really nice. I'm very glad I used the crayon for the back um, because there is spaces. Just because how acorns are, they're not going to be perfect. You can't really overlay them so much. You can give it a shot, but I don't know if it would work. And yeah, like I said, if you want to put it in a little frame, if you want to color the background a little bit, I wouldn't do it too dark since everything else is dark. You know, maybe a nice bright blue sky or something like he's like he's sitting in a high tree in the sky. All right. I know this one took a little while, but I hope you had fun with it. I hope it was relaxing and that you had a nice time. And I will see you guys next week. Have a great day.